welcome. I have a first page Friday for you where I share with you a book that I think will be valuable to writers. Um, there's some great information, some great techniques in here that I think will help you with your own writing practice. So the book that I'd like to share is called The Perfect Couple, and it's by Ellen Hildebrand. So Hildebrand is actually new to me. Um, I'm not a big reader, I'll be honest, uh, with uh, popular fiction. But I tried her out because I just did a trip to Massachusetts and I wanted to read a, a Massachusetts writer. She lives in Nantucket. And so gave it a try and really liked it. And there are a couple of things about this in particular that I think are, are specifically valuable to writers, um, especially around pacing and timing that I want to point out to you. But let's start off by reading this first page so that you can get a taste of her writing. So the first page here of the book is called The Chief. A phone call before six on a Saturday morning is never a good thing, although it's not unheard of on a holiday weekend. Too many times to count, Chief Ed Kapernash of the Nantucket Police Department has seen the 4th of July go sideways. The most common accident is a person blowing off a finger while lighting fireworks. Sometimes things are more serious. One year, they lost a swimmer in the riptide. Another year, a man drank 10 shots of Patron Añejo and then did a backflip off the roof of the all-serve building and hit the water in such a way that his neck snapped. There are generally enough drunken disorderlies to fill a sightseeing bus as well as dozens of fistfights, a handful of which are so serious that the police have to get involved. When the call comes in, Andrea and the kids are fast asleep. Chloe and Finn are 16, an age the, the chief escaped easily with his own children, he now realizes. Chloe and Finn, who are properly the children of Andy, Andrea's cousin Tess and Tess's husband Greg, who died in a boating accident nine years ago, are proving to be more of a challenge. So the book continues on from there, but from the very beginning here, we've got the chief of police and we have a ton of background information about the chief of police from the very beginning there. Within the next two pages, we're going to have the murder. So the phone call that's coming in is to let the, the uh, chief of police know that a murder has occurred, a body's been found. And I really love that, honestly. In a murder mystery, if you're going to have a dead body and it's going to be on page two or three for me as a reader that's really engaging i love that because then i'm going into that whodunit mindset of trying to figure out the rest of the story trying to figure out what happened from the very beginning so i think that that's a really engaging tactic for a writer to use now i mentioned earlier that there are a couple of things that helder branch does um, that work really well in terms of pacing and timing of the book and so i want to point out a couple of these to you um, one thing that she does is that at the beginning of every chapter, she gives you the time and the date, and you can compare this against the time and date of the murder. When did the murder occur? And so that you know, are we flashing back or are we flashing forward or are we on the day of the murder? And she is all over the place in terms of the timeline. So it's not a linear story of where you start from one point and you end up in another point. It doesn't happen like that at all. She's back and forth throughout the whole thing. And honestly, it works really well. That, that pacing, that timing of moving up and down the timeline, um, it's really engaging and it really keeps you turning pages. The second thing that I want to point out to you is that she'll have multiple scenes on a single page. So I'm here on page 160 and 161, and I've got um, three scenes that are here on this page, okay? So her scenes, here's one that's just this page here and a tiny little line up here. That's it. That's a whole scene right there. That's the making of a great page turner, right? Of where you've got these tiny little scenes, kind of in a similar way that what you see on television, right? You've got these tiny little scenes. So as a reader, you're continuing to get this new information. It's You're not being bogged down by heavy exposition. You've got a lot of movement and you've got a lot of dialogue. That's another thing that she does here. You've got a lot of dialogue that really keeps things moving forward. So if you have not read any Ellen Hildebrand, I would definitely recommend her. Um, like I said, I haven't read her before. This is my first book by her, but I'm impressed by the way that she handles um, that timing 
and the pacing, and I think that there's a lot to be learned for other writers here. So take a look at the book and just keep in mind what are the little tidbits that you can learn as a writer when you take a look at the way that she paces and, and the way that she times out the scenes and things like that. I think that you'll find it to be of value. So hope you like the book and hope you're doing well. Good luck with your writing.